Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the brake on this Ferlander Cascadia. The brake that I'm going to be replacing are 4707. You can also find this brake in many different brands. Volvo, Spiralbills, Kangor, Internationals and any other vehicle that has heavy duty brakes. In this case I won't be showing you how to remove the tires and all the stuff, how to jack the vehicle up. Uh, if you want more details about that you can check my other video at the description below or at the end screen of this video that video is about the 4709 brake shoes with all the wheels completely removed I need to remove the brake drum in this case the brake drum is stuck so I will need to uh, hit it with a hammer like this once the drum is completely released I can pull it easily from the uh, Top. So these brakes are the 4707. They are very similar to 4709 brakes, 4726 brakes that have the same type of spins. So the process to remove those brakes is going to be very similar to 4707, which are these ones. You see the type of spring, and it has two mounting supports on the back. These are kind of bushings that holds the rear area of the brakes. 4709s only have one over here, a big one, then holds both, both brakes at the same time. So, so I'm going to show you the process how to remove, remove these brakes. It's very similar to 4709. Uh, you, if you saw my other video, the process um, it, it changes just a little. To remove the springs, these two springs on the back, I'm going to be using this bar over here, and I'm gonna hit the spring in this area right here until it releases and I'm gonna do the same with the other one with the two springs out of the way as you can see they're completely removed I'm going to push this brake down and I'm gonna put it on a side like this and after that I'm gonna push these brakes up like this I'm gonna put it on top and now with one hand I'm gonna grab this end of the brake and I'm gonna pull it out like this you can see it's out the next step is to remove these bushings in this case I have brand new brakes there are no remand they are brand new brakes as you can see new brakes there is Stenko this is the part number uh, this is the dimension of the brakes uh, the reason why I'm installing new brakes is because you don't need a core in return and they fit perfectly. I will recommend to install new brakes to your truck because in many cases they last twice as much than the Riemann brakes. Plus, you know that their brakes are completely new. They have never been rebuilt or Riemann. Uh, which is good because everything is new the friction material and the frame, the actual core of the brake is actually new. That guarantees that the brake is gonna fit perfectly on the truck. And they are not too expensive compared to the Riemann brakes. I will actually recommend these brakes because they're new and plus you don't need to return the core. You can go to the store, buy them and you don't have to give a core as a return and you can sell the cores like a scrap or something and you can get most of money back the brake shoe kit comes with the two brake shoes and the hardware kit so the first step to install these brakes is to get the hardware, the hardware kit over here and get these uh, pins over here there is two pins like this and we wanna place them in this orifice exactly this orifice and we're gonna hammer it so it gets in like this as you can see the next step is to get this roller over here uh, this one has a different shape there are many different shapes of rollers and this get this clip over here we're going to install this clip on this roller like this gotta be like this it, it, it has to move freely as you can see and then we wanna place the, uh, the roller with the clip over here in this area and we wanna insert it here like this until the clips 
gets in this orifice, you can see it has to move freely. And now we want to repeat the process with the other brake shoes. The next step is to install this spring, the biggest spring. We want to put it in here. Like this. And now these brake shoes are ready for installation. The next step is to install these other bushings over here in the back, these two, like rollers too, and it comes with these bushings too. These bushings are from this spider over here, they go in here. Uh, in order to remove these, you have to uh, use a torch or something to remove them and then place the new ones. 89% of mechanics and technicians never do replace this, including me because I have I won't replace this today. So uh, because it takes a lot of time and sometimes this bushing is in a good condition. But if for some reason this bushing is completely destroyed, I will recommend you to replace it. In this case, as you can see, the, both of the bushings are in good condition. So I'm just going to place these uh, bushings. I don't know why they are called uh, over here. As you can see, they don't have much place, so that's good. So now I'm going to grab this brake. So first I'm going to start the top brake like this. I'm gonna place it on top of the S cam over here and I'm gonna put it over here in this bushing. And the bottom one, I'm gonna press it down with my hands until it goes under the S cam over here. Once the brake is in, I'm going to push this brake down like this. And I'm gonna align it with here with this other bushing. The two brakes are in the correct position. The next step is to install the two springs. They come new in the hardware. By placing them like this on top, you can see. And now I'm going to use this T10 screwdriver. This is a Craftsman screwdriver. It's very useful for brakes. And I'm going to get the spring down. Meanwhile, I'm pushing it to the front. Like this, and I show you right now. Until it gets in, as you can see. And now you can pull the screwdriver easily. And now the spring is in. I'm gonna repeat the same process with the other spring. Okay, so the brake shoe is on position. Double check all the time the springs, the bushings, and everything. It should be in the correct position. If you see that something is not in the correct position, remove it again and reinstall it. So now I'm going to do the same process with all the other brakes because I'm replacing all the brakes in this truck. Okay, all the brakes are on place. The new brakes, as you can see. And the other side too, have new brakes. Uh, now it's time to install the drums. But before doing that, make sure to double check everything because brake is one of the most important parts of a vehicle so i have the new brake drums over here here is the part number as you can see there is 10 for the same brand of the brakes that i just installed on this truck these are the centrifuge brake drums these are the lightweight brake drums as you can see these are thinner compared to the old ones you see they're thicker see how thicker they are compared to the centrifuge so these drums are heavier than the centrifuge brake, brake drums these are lighter they resist more torque and more temperature and you save some weight uh, in total because we are installing four brake drums I believe we're gonna save like 200 pounds or something it's not that much compared to the old uh, brake drums but you know, when you have load on your truck, every pound counts. Plus, they can last long. These brake drums can last up to 700,000 miles. But the only problem with them is they are kind of expensive. They cost around $180 each. But you will get so many benefits out of them. To install this brake drum, all I have to do is to get the brake drum to the hub and then align it to the uh, hub studs over here and then push it all the way in. The drum is fully installed on the hub, so the job is done. 
of replacing the brakes. Now I'm gonna repeat the same process with all the brakes uh, and the hubs, installing the drum, and then I'm gonna install the tires and everything else. Uh, and after that I'm gonna adjust the brakes. So I'm gonna do all this process right now and I'm gonna show you how to use these brakes especially on this truck because this one has a different type of uh, like adjuster. The one I just did on the 4709, that one has the Senko style adjuster and this one has the Meritol style adjuster which is a different style of slide adjuster but the basics is the same. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the brakes. Three steps before adjusting the brakes, make sure that the air tanks are under PSI or more. And the next step is to shock the wheels. Make sure the, to shock the wheels before doing the brake adjustment. Otherwise you're gonna be run over by your own truck. This is the light adjuster on this truck. It looks different than the Stenko or the other brands. This is a Meritor style. It's like adjuster. So you will need a 516 uh, tool that looks like this. You can see it's different than the other ones. See, it's like a star. It's a 516 tool. I think this one doesn't have a number. Yeah, it doesn't have a number. But anyway, it's a 516. So I'm going to place it in here, in this square part of the slug adjuster right here and I'm gonna rotate it to the left see it should be easy like this until it stops so now we're gonna switch the turn to the right and now it's gonna stop too it is tight you won't be able to move it to adjust the brake now you will need this this is like a door panel removal tool you can buy this at AutoZone for $12 or something and you're gonna place this tool on the rear area of the drag adjuster right here see right here like this you can see let me see if you can see it better over here yeah it should be like this see the tool is opening that thing over there this is a lock so now we're gonna turn the ratchet water turn to the right, like this, and the brake is completely adjusted. Some people will say that you will need to adjust the brake uh, like a half turn. In my case, I just gonna turn the brake water turn to adjust it because the brakes are new and they're gonna wear really fast like for 50 miles or so then they wanna open so if I leave them like half tour the brakes are gonna be fully open after they get completely adjust so in this case I'm gonna leave it like that so it's gonna find the brakes are gonna find its way and the brake adjustment won't be too uh, open so it will be okay to pass a DOT inspection so that be all I'm gonna be showing you about the brake replacement on a 4707 uh, brake shoes. This brake shoe replacement will be similar to 4726 and 4702, which are the front uh, brake shoes for the Freightliners or different trucks. Also, 4720s are going to have the same process of replacement. In this case, I'm going to be replacing the 4702s on the front, as you can see, and the drums. Uh, but the process is very similar how to replace the uh, brake uh, shoes on the 4702s uh, with the same two springs on the side, the bushings and the center spring on the uh, S-cam it's gonna be very similar you if you have any questions anything to add to this video you can comment below and uh, you can leave your thoughts or your questions if you like to send some support to my channel you can check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel so I can make more videos, helpful videos for everybody on the road, on their own shop, mechanic, technicians, drivers, and operators. Everybody can follow my uh, videos. So like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.